What is going on, Sojour? Welcome back to another video. So I've been playing a lot of ranked off of stream and off of video recently, and uh, it's been going pretty well for the most part. I was up at 60 LP plat 3, which is literally the highest that I have ever been. Ever. Literally, I am at my peak performance, as you can clearly see at the top right. I'm at my peak performance, and I've, I've never been this high. And I know it might not seem like a lot, but for me, it's, it's, it's a lot like progress. I don't know there's like a large part of uh, my content that kind of makes fun of bronze players and all that kind of stuff but I just wanted to let you know that uh, the higher you get in the ladder doesn't get any better. So this game ended up being probably one of the most intense, intense games I think that I've ever played because it's, it was at the highest deal that I'd ever played. There was diamond people on both teams as far as I could tell uh, and it was probably, it was so damn close but it would have been a lot less closer if we didn't have uh, one of those singed players on our team. Yeah, I know that sounds discriminatory, but you know exactly what I say when I say those singed players. difference in gold, look at the difference in kills. Things were absolutely horrible. We had a fucking feeding a singe to his feeding his ass off. Talia wasn't doing so hot. And uh, generally things were going pretty badly across the board. We were barely surviving team fights. I barely survived that one and uh, I was one of the very few people who actually did. However, through what I can only imagine is the sheer willpower of, of friendship, we managed to uh, manage to contest Baron here, which led to a flash and a fucking steal from my buddy Can, which led to some of the most clutch fights that I think I've ever been a witness to in my League of Legends career, man. These fights were ridiculously close. Like, we were trying so damn hard to keep Kog'Maw off the team. He was so incredibly fed. He had a bunch of kills. But, uh... It, it, it seemed like... It felt like it didn't really matter that much. I managed to get a really clutch exhaust off, which managed to somehow save our Jinx which allowed us to get at least one team fight in the bag, even though she still died to the uh, the Kog'Maw who was in his passive. Somehow, God knows how, though, we actually managed to persevere, and this game was totally won. This was, like, one of the most enjoyable games that I've ever had in League of Legends in a long time. And it was one of these games that we got completely shit-stomped in the beginning, but we somehow, through sheer just force of will, it wasn't even a case of us outscaling them. They had a Kog'Maw, and they had a really, really strong team to protect that Kog'Maw. We just somehow managed to pull out of our asses. This game, however, did not quite go as uh, as as smooth sailing as the previous game, even though we were behind. For you see, come closer, my child. There are some creatures out there that do unironically play AP Trendymere top in fucking ranked games. So things looked fine originally. We saw Trendymere getting first blood top on a ribbon trading a kill. Things looked absolutely fine. It wasn't I didn't even realise that this guy had an amp tome in his pockets when he actually did it. Slowly but surely though, those cracks kinda started to show in the gameplay. <laughs> What's so bizarre to me though is that look at the win rates on this Trendymere player. He's never played Trendymere apparently in his life on according to OP.GG beyond this game. But look, 75% win rate, 100% with 6 games played, 8 games played 75, 100% 3 games, 
Sexy 7-3, Sexy 7-3, Sexy 7-3, 100% too. Like, this guy is killing it. But, mmm, but, mmm, mmm, look at the damage that is being dealt currently. Oh, 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 none of it. Fantastic. Mmm. Well, that game was a write-off. This next game is a very different tale. If this could be on Watch Mojo's top 10 anime betrayals, I think it might actually be. But it's a tale, it's a tale of a young Diamond 5 Lux. And I want you to remember that. I want you to remember that. Diamond 5, by the way. It is at this point that Lux begins to baby rage to the highest degree in the chat at our Jarvan. To this day, Jarvan and myself have absolutely no idea what he could have possibly done to prevent Fiddlesticks from absolutely ruining her shit. But that was enough to pretty much send Lux over the edge. She's fighting mid. As she was fighting mid, we decided to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of dragon here. However, as she was ta as we were taking dragon. She was in the middle of a heated battle mid lane. We managed to get the dragon, we managed to actually get a pick. And, uh, but unfortunately, we were coming in straight after this to try and help her, to try and help her get a pick on it. She went too close and she got basically completely bodied by the Vladimir. We got two kills, a dragon, and she could have survived. But we got the heatedest of flames, and apparently that wasn't worth it. She literally... <laughs> I've never seen somebody that angry to trade that well. Like, we traded really well. Two for one and a dragon. But that was not good enough. And it was Inferno as well. And if you watch very, very closely, you can very much see the transformation to sane per from sane person to a uh, completely insane Diamond 5 boosted player. And there it is. The Zeal double dagger. That there and, and there it is, boys. There it is, the, the diamond, the diamond five. The diamond five Lux, boys. As you can probably imagine, it didn't do so hot. It, it d didn't quite go as well as she'd hoped. I mean, just, just, just fucking what? Just, uh... Okay, and I guess, this is pretty much where our story ends today, fellas. The Phantom Dancer, Blade Rune King, Lux, Smid, that went 2-7, and seven, didn't quite pull through for us. Despite that, we tried as hard as we possibly could with the uh, the tools that we had at our disposal, but, you know, with, with that amount of deaths fed onto the enemy team, and with that lack of giving a shit about anything, we were unable to pull through. And we unfortunately succumbed. Succumbed? A succumb award? Unfortunately, though, we succumbed to the... Uh, the enemy team. The funniest thing about all this though, the funniest thing and the thing that gives me, that helped me sleep last night, the thing that helped me fall asleep happy in the knowledge is that one of the things that this Lux said, like this Lux has one key games in Diamond 5, right? 1000 games. He said he didn't care if we e trolled this game because he would go next and he would just win the next one and we'd lose the next one. So yeah, this is a bit of a different Photo Diamond episode, basically just a kind of fun for the whole family. You can do it guys, trust me when I say, with a little tiny bit of like, main, main a champion or do something, don't do what I'm doing, don't fucking fill because I, it's probably hurting me more than it's helping me, but you can do it, if these people can do it boys, trust me when I say you can at least, if you're stuck in gold, if you're stuck in, if you're stuck in uh, silver if you're stuck in bronze you can get the fuck out trust me when I say that unless your PC is actually like if you have trouble with your PC or if you have lag issues or something like that then that's the only reason that you've got for staying in your rank I swear to god you can get the hell out of there if you play your cards right you practice even you too may one day become a scripter like me just look at oh god look at that was oh so good just, 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 oh, just, too, oh, too perfect, uh, oh, too perfect. Guys, I deserve diamond easily. Unironically, so do you. God damn. Thanks for watching this kind of silly video. I need to vent, man. I need to vent.
Cause this- these people are diamond, man. Jesus Christ. But nevertheless, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Take it easy. Goodbye.